I didn't even really have to pluck it. But look at that scalp. I'm serving you scalp right now. Raven Elise TV. Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven. Today I'm here with a wig video. I'm gonna be showing you guys how I put on this wig from start to finish, how I laid it to the gods, if I do say so myself. And I'm really excited because this is my new collaboration with my first wig. So I actually have my own collection of wigs with both RPG Show and my first wig. And this is my newest design for my first wig. And basically being a designer for my first wig means that I get to pick everything about the wig. I design it from scratch, the color, the length, the cut, the style, everything, like the texture and all that stuff. I tell them what I want, they make the wigs, we put it together for you guys and then they can sell them to you guys and you guys can get the look. So it's been really fun designing wigs for both of them. Definitely check out my previous wig designs if you guys have not seen them, I will put the links down below. So for this new wig design for my first wig, the idea behind it was to make it look like my natural hair when I straighten my hair. So so the brown ombre, you know, we have the natural black dark roots and then it fades into like a reddish auburnish ombre color. This is the exact color of my real natural hair right now. And I just wanted to, like I said, make it look like what it looks like when I straighten my hair. So we tried to get the length about right and just the overall like natural look of it. So like for me, I can just put on this wig instead of straightening my hair and it looks like my real hair is so cool. So yeah, that was the the idea behind this wig in terms of the color and the style it will be offered in multiple different lengths just depending on what length you want to go for I believe it'll be offered in 14 16 and 18 this is the 18 inch version that you can get so this is the longest one I think this is technically like a little longer than like how my real hair is I think my real hair comes to about like right here so I would say my real hair is probably like 17 inches long so somewhere between the 16 and 18 option um, you guys may have seen me wearing the 16 option earlier it's um you know about this long like right above the boob line and that one is really cute too but I went for the 18 option today because I just wanted something that was a little bit longer a little bit closer to my natural hair length so you guys can go on the website when you order it and choose what length you want and it does come straight like this so you can wear it wavy if you get it wet I'm about to show you guys in a minute when I'm putting on the wig I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like when it's in its natural wavy state it gives you like a really cute beach wave but this is how it's gonna come in the box when you purchase it because it is supposed to look like my natural hair when it's straightened so it comes straightened like this the link for it will be down below if you guys want to check it out and order it and now let's get into the tutorial of how I put it on okay guys so basically to put my lace wig on lately I've been doing this new method kind of where it's like a bald cap method I mean it's not new it's not new to like the hairdresser wig slaying community this is like been there done that but for me it's like a newer method that I've been doing if you guys go back on my channel I have several lace wig how I put on my wig videos and I have constantly changed it and improved it over the years my first lace wig tutorial is absolute trash like don't even go watch it but this is what I've been doing lately I think it turns out a lot more natural It's definitely a lot more work than some of my other methods that I've posted so if you're looking for something a little bit easier quick ready to go out the door I can definitely link some of my other tutorials down below but this one is a little bit more detail but I really like the effect that it gives. First thing I want to do is take a little cotton pad and some rubbing alcohol and just wipe off my forehead because you really want to work on very clean skin, clean hair. So I washed my hair, I split it down the middle and put it in pigtails. This is how I've been doing my hair ever since it has gotten longer. I really don't know how to cornrow or anything. Doing little cornrows going straight back probably would be better and last longer but for me just flattening it down and smoothing it down as much as as possible on the top and just putting it into little pigtails like this works really well and then I can kind of wrap up the pigtails in the back of my head and it can still lay pretty flat so this is how I've always prepped my natural hair before putting on a wig I always make sure to shampoo my hair really good deep condition it put some oils on it make sure you know your natural hair is getting some love 
underneath your wigs. That's really gonna help your hair grow. So I put like castor oil around my edges. I put leave-in conditioner on it braided it up while it was wet so I could really slick it down and just did two little braids and that's how I always prep my hair and then like I said I just get a cotton pad with alcohol and make sure to really wipe off my forehead because you don't want any oils or anything on your skin because that's gonna mess up with the adhesive of the wig. Don't get it on your actual hair because it will dry out your edges and like make your baby hairs break off, but just wipe your skin off. So I ordered a pack of nude colored stocking wig caps off of Amazon. For a couple of dollars, I got like a pack of like 10 or 20 of them. The My First Wig box comes with wig caps, but I do this so much that I end up running out. And I like this specific color because it matches my skin color a lot better. The whole point of this is that I'm gonna be trying to make myself literally look like I shaved my head bald so you're gonna want it to match your skin tone. So if you have a darker skin tone, you can go for a darker colored stocking cap. They have a bunch of different colors. And I'm gonna be using these two got to be products. These are like tried and true in the wig community. You probably have heard everybody talking about these. Um, this is the got to be glued blasting freeze spray. This is their hairspray. It is a super hold hairspray. And I actually spray some of this onto my natural hair just to slick it down, like it'll slick your hair down and it will hold it into place because I don't want my natural hair like going crazy underneath my wig. So I like to really slick it down and hairspray it down with this. So I already did that and it's literally like, I don't know if y'all can tell, but it's like hard, like it's not going anywhere. So I just put that on the front. And then this is the Got To Be Glued Styling Spiking Glue. This is basically a super extreme hair gel if you've never heard of it and it basically acts like glue, but it is water soluble. So it's very, very easy to remove and it's much easier to avoid ripping out your edges because all you have to do is put water on it and it completely melts away and doesn't like rip anything out. So since I already sprayed this on my hair and slicked it down, I'm gonna start off with the gel and I'm gonna take a little bit of this just on my finger and I'm gonna start applying it right in front, like basically right on my hairline, like right on my skin in front of my hairline. Not going too far forward with it because since I have a big forehead, I do like to bring my wigs forward like a little bit and it helps make my forehead look smaller. If you have a small forehead, you definitely wanna avoid doing that. You wanna keep it like right where your natural hairline is. For me, I can afford to bring it a little bit more forward so I probably do it like a centimeter away on my skin and you're gonna want to put it on your skin anyway because you're gonna want most of the glue to be on your skin instead of on your hair because the more stuff you put on your hair the more you risk ripping out your edges <laughs> although like I said it shouldn't rip out your edges because it is water soluble and as long as you're putting water on it when you remove it, you should be fine, even on your hair. But you just don't wanna cake it up too much to where it's like hard to remove it out of your actual hair. So I'm just going all the way around the perimeter of my hairline. As you can see, like I said, it's mostly on my skin, but I am putting it in my hair too and kind of slicking my hair backwards because I don't want any of my real baby hairs getting in the way i want those to go back and i definitely like to make sure i really get the sideburn area like right here like right in the middle where my ear is because if you don't bring it down low enough or put enough gel right here it's going to start lifting up like that's the main area where it always tries to start lifting up so then i'm just going to take my little rat tail comb and just make sure that i'm kind of like brushing my edges back because I really don't want any of my hair hanging down. And again, this is hair gel. It's meant to go in your hair. It's meant to slick your hair down, so it should be fine. So now I'm going to take the stocking cap and put it on, but I'm gonna put it on really low on my forehead. And then with my two little pigtails, I'm gonna be like crisscrossing and weaving and tucking them in the back. So I kind of just crisscross them once, crisscross them again, and tuck them in the back and try to like smush it and spread it out to where the braids are just like going like zoop, 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 like in a zigzag pattern almost because I don't want to just like ball them up into a bun because then it's going to be like a big old knot in the back of my head so I'm trying to like lay them across as flat as possible so it still is going to be like some bulk like you can see right there 
but then when I put my wig on and I put my wig on really tight, it squishes it so it can look pretty flat. So that's just what I do with my braids. And like I said, I'm bringing this down over my ears and over onto my forehead and I look like a weirdo. But what I'm trying to do is avoid this band right here. You see this band? I don't want that showing. I want it to be a nice blend right here. And then I'm gonna take my rat tail comb again and squish the stocking cap into the gel. Because the stocking cap is pretty thin, so it's gonna like soak through, and that's what you want. You want the stocking cap to be glued on to your hairline. So I'm just using the comb to like stick it down and really make sure you get it right here, like I said, on the sideburns. Then I'm gonna go in with the hairspray and I'm gonna spray it on top and it's gonna soak through and it's gonna create like a sandwich of glue between the stocking cap, my hair, the skin, and it's gonna like stick everything down. So I'm gonna be pretty heavy handed with the hairspray. Again, don't bring it to, don't, you, know, you don't need to spray your whole dang forehead, just the area that you need to stick. Sometimes it gets a little messy, like this started dripping way down, but that's okay, we can fix that later. And then again, I'm gonna take the comb and stick it down. So I know I look crazy, but this is just to glue the stocking cap onto your head. You want it to be glued to your skin and glued to your hair, as you can see here where the glue is applied. And we're gonna dry this down, and then we're gonna put more glue to actually glue the wig onto the stocking cap base. So we want this to dry. So I'm just gonna take my blow dryer and put it on the cool setting right here, cause cold air makes it dry faster. And I'm just gonna be blow drying it, and as I'm blow drying it, I'm gonna use my comb and just keep sticking it down, sticking it down, especially on the sideburns, like I said. Okay, so this is pretty much dry. It takes about a good like 10 minutes of like blow drying it, or you can sit under a hair dryer if you have one of those. But it took me like a good 10 minutes of like blow drying it to really get it like to where it's not sticky anymore and it's like all dried down pretty much. So once you know that it's like completely stuck down, this is when we're going to be removing this whole section right here and we can let our freaking face breathe. So I like to use little tiny, like the little tiny eyelash scissors and just start slowly cutting away. And what you're doing is just cutting right there in front of your hairline just to where the stocking cap is just barely covering up all your hair. Again, you don't want the cap like way down here. Like you don't wanna start cutting like just across right here cause that's way too much stocking cap. You wanna keep it pretty close to your actual hairline. And you're gonna notice that the edge kind of starts to roll up and lift up a little bit and you're like, oh my God, it's not sticking down. Well, that's okay because we're gonna go back over it and put a little bit more glue to stick it back down after we cut it. So don't worry about the edge not looking perfect right now. And then just cut this all the way off. So my ears are still covered, but literally I just take it and like tuck it behind my ear, make sure it's not stuck to my ear and just keep it like that and then it still is holding everything down and into place in the back. You can kind of go back and just fix any areas that just look a little crazy. So you can see the edge of it is like starting to roll up and shrivel up and it's not like stuck down all the way. So what I'm gonna do is take a little bit more of the gel and just like barely put some more gel right where it's like rolling and then take it and smoosh it back down, see? and then it sticks back down and the edge looks a lot more seamless. So then we're gonna blow dry it again to make sure everything's dry. Okay, so that's basically the hard part done. Like I said, it takes a little bit more time obviously than just normally just putting on a stocking cap and going from there, but I really like the effect that this gives so I don't mind taking more time to like lay this down and it lasts longer. So this is looking pretty good, but the only thing is you can see that the stocking cap is pretty sheer. So you can see all my dark hair showing through. Like it definitely doesn't look like this color. So that's why I put makeup over it to really make it blend in at least you know, this far back. I don't need my whole head going back to look like scalp. Like it's really just the front part that really matters to me. So I like to just take a liquid foundation that is actually like a little bit lighter than my skin tone. And I'm just using the Wet n Wild liquid foundation just cause it's cheap and I don't mind like wasting it. So I'm just literally gonna take some of this on the back of my hand and we're going to 
color in this area and I'm putting it kind of over the edge as well because I want to kind of blend it into my skin. For me, I usually keep the wig on for like two to three days and I haven't seen any issues so far with you know it making my skin break out or anything i know like it's still not good so you really probably should try to avoid getting any makeup on your skin so just a heads up about that but i do go back with alcohol and wipe it off anyway so it's probably like very very small amounts of makeup that actually touches my skin at the end of the day again i'm just trying to make like this front section right here look like scalp so i don't need to take it too far back okay so then just like when you do your regular makeup you want to set your liquid with a powder so we're going to go ahead and set this with a powder as well because you don't want anything to be all like liquidy and sticky you want everything to be dry and that is basically the base if i go like this from far away it looks like i'm bald <laughs> Okay, so from this stage, we are now finally ready to actually put the wig on. Everything is dry, everything is set, everything is laying as flat as possible. And here is the wig, the new Raven Elise wig for the Raven Elise collection for my first wig. I am super in love with how this wig turned out. I really love the color. And right now it is in a wavy texture because this is actually like the natural texture of the hair um, so when you wet the hair it'll wave up like this and have like this nice beachy natural body wave to it but when you guys order the wig it will come already straightened for you because it's supposed to look like my real hair when it's straight mine's wavy because I just washed it lately I've been liking to wash my wigs before I wear them just because I want to condition them I want them I don't know it just looks more natural after it's just been wash in my opinion even though you don't really have to and most of the time like before I would pull my wig straight out the box plop them on go out the door and look fine I've just been getting more into like the nitty-gritty details of making your wig look as natural as possible so I've been washing my wigs but you don't have to if you want to wear it straightened like straight out of the box you can definitely do that so in terms of prepping the wig like I said I washed it just so it can be nice and fresh and I also plucked the wig a little bit it comes pre-plucked you guys so it's literally going to come with a more thinned out more natural more just organic looking hairline instead of just having like that harsh line of thick hair like in a rainbow shape like how like old wigs used to have this is pre-plucked so it comes with like that thin baby hair you know nice little you know, more natural looking look to it, fresh out of the box without having to pluck it. And then from there, you literally only have to pluck like a few hairs just to make it match your custom preferences. Everybody's head is different. Everybody's hairline is different. Everybody's preferences are different. So of course it's not gonna be exactly like what you want it to be you know so you do always have to kind of customize it a little bit no matter what so i literally just plucked a few hairs in the very front just to make it match like the way my natural hairline goes it's kind of like in a like a wiggle like it goes doop 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 so i like plucked some of the hairs in the front to like make it match that but i literally like it took me about 10 minutes whereas normally when you start from scratch on a normal wig you're gonna be sitting there plucking 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 for like an hour so it's much much faster since it does come pre-plucked another thing that people like to do is to bleach their knots i'm still kind of learning when it comes to bleaching my knots i kind of tried to bleach my knots but it really didn't like come out 100% bleached. I think it helped a little bit, but I'm not really like a professional when it comes to bleaching the knots and all that stuff. And I really don't think it's like 100, 100% necessary to do it. You can definitely still make your wig look very natural without bleaching your knots or doing any of that stuff. And I would not recommend trying to bleach your knots if you're a beginner because it's very easy to jack up your whole wig trying to do that. But if you guys are interested in that, there's tons of videos on YouTube you guys can look up about bleaching your knots. And I already cut off the excess lace going around the perimeter of the wig. I just need to cut off the excess lace that's in the nape of the neck. So pretty much with every wig on my first wig, you have the option of either getting a lace front or a full lace. Lace front means that only this section here, which is actually a very big section, it actually goes all the way back to here, 
and all this whole top part of your head and the sides of your head will be lace. And on a full lace, your whole head will be full lace. So this is actually a full lace. So this is lace right here too. There are no tracks on this wig, no tracks sewn on, so I can literally part it. I can do pigtails, I can do cornrows on this wig. It's not gonna be any tracks getting in my way. It's a full lace wig. Or if you want a more affordable option, you can just get the lace front where only this top and front section are gonna be lace and this darker section back here is gonna have tracks sewn on. For me personally, just being real with you guys, I would say just go ahead and get the lace front. You really don't need a full lace unless you plan on doing literal cornrows, pigtails, all types of like crazy detailed hairstyles on the wig. If you just plan on wearing the wig down, maybe half up, half down, maybe like in a ponytail, then you don't need a full lace. You can just get a lace front, but mine is full lace, so there's no tracks on it. Either way, you're going to get the two combs on the side of the wig and you're going to get an adjustable strap right here at the bottom of the wig as well as another comb. I really like having this comb in the back of the wig in the nape of your neck because I like to slide this up underneath my stocking cap and it really holds it down in the back as well as having this adjustable elastic strap down here where you can tighten it or loosen it to where you can really make the wig fit nice and snug on your head. So I really like that. I don't use the two combs in the front because what am I gonna stick it into? So usually before I actually put my wigs on, I like to do like a little trial run just to make sure. So I just kind of put it on without actually gluing it. So you guys can see the part looks real natural right off the top. You don't need to put any concealer or makeup in the part. This is a fresh, clean wig. No, nothing on it and it looks nice and natural. You can see the hairline. Mm, look at that hairline, y'all. This ain't even glued down or nothing. Hairline looks really good. Again, like I said, I didn't even really have to pluck it. Look at that, scalp. I'm serving you scalp right now. You can't tell me this is not my real hair. Now that I've seen like these pre-plucked wigs, I could never get like a regular wig because I'll be sitting there plucking it so much trying to make it look like this. So all I need to do to actually glue my wig down is just take my got to be glued gel again and I'm just going to apply a little bit more of this with my finger again and I'm going to put it right on that same edge that we've been working with. And this is where we're gonna be actually sticking the edge of the wig down on top. We're gonna let that dry a little bit just so it can get tacky. It's kind of like eyelash glue. You don't just put the glue on and then stick it on because then it's really not gonna stick. And the reason why I like this method is because to me, like I said, it gives you the most natural results because it's literally like having a blank scalp and then just having hair growing out of the scalp. Also, it lasts a lot longer because it's like this layers of glue and it's giving you like this really strong base so I can keep this wig on for probably honestly up to four days I would say I think the longest I've really worn it yeah probably about three or four days I've left it just completely alone and it's just like wake up and go but with the regular way of like just putting the stocking cap on you know normal way and then just kind of gluing the edge of the wig down I feel like I can't wear it as long because everything is like moving too much like the stocking cap is not glued down at all so the stocking cap is like shifting around underneath my wig it's like sliding back sometimes I've had it to where my stocking cap like kind of falls off underneath my wig and then like it's not really that much glue so it starts lifting and then it just does not last as long but this is like giving you a foundation everything just sticks and nothing moves so now that i've got the glue on and it's tacky i like to go back to front with putting my wig on and kind of get the back part on there and then pull it towards the front make sure you're not getting any of the hairs in the way oh hey girl <laughs> and then make sure you have it on evenly you know like right here and then pull it down and start placing it where you want it. Ooh, girl, I feel like I can't even see because this lace is so on fleek. It's like I can't even see where it begins. I'm just gonna take some of these little alligator clips and kind of clip the hair back so it's out of my way. And then once I've got it like kind of placed down where I want it to be, I'm just gonna take my rat tail comb and start like sticking it down, kind of like rubbing it combing the hairs back, sticking the lace down. Like I keep saying, make sure you're getting your sideburns right. 
Just make sure it's stuck down and we're gonna blow dry it again and make sure everything is secure. <laughs> Okay, so then whenever it's a fresh wig, like my first time putting on the wig, usually by the time I put it on and get it glued down, I start noticing some areas that I still kind of want to like pluck and tweak and tweeze and just get it looking like how I want it to look like. So once it's completely dry and I know it's secure, like literally this, like you could tug on it it's not going anywhere like this is my scalp now okay it's officially my scalp then i can literally go in with my tweezers again even though i kind of already like it was pre-plugged and then i plucked it before i put it on by the time you get it on your head there's always something that you want to just make it look perfect so i'll take my tweezers again and just fix any areas that i feel like still need a little tweezing still look a little too thick or what have you like this random piece of hair right here i feel like that looks out of place so i'm literally just gonna like tweeze it off and this part's gonna be different for everybody because it's just like how you want it to look on your own head and again i kind of just try to make it mimic my natural hair i know on my real hairline these two sections right here are a lot thinner so I like to thin this part of my wig too. So like for this little sideburn part right here, I'm gonna cut it shorter. You know how this little part of your hair is always like shorter. So I like to just cut those. Okay, so the wig is on, it is secure. I can run my fingers all the way through it. I can pull it back because like I said, mine is full lace. I have full control, full freedom in terms of how I style this wig. I can part it any where that I want going all the way back 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 like I can literally style this hair literally as if it was my own hair growing out of my scalp it's super secure and it's luxurious and it's amazing I really really like this wig so now it's just about like cleaning it up and styling the hair so like I said if you get any like crusty gel excess glue mess going on it's water soluble so just literally take some water spray a paper towel and kind of wipe it right here just where it got kind of crusty with the gel and then I'm just gonna take another cotton round like we did in the beginning and take the rubbing alcohol and wipe down right in front of the wig just to make sure I don't have any extra anything on my skin and that is how I put my wigs on like I said this is super secure like it's not going anywhere I can sleep with it I can wear it for about three to four days I can style it so I'm just gonna show you guys like a little half up half down action like look at this I can slick it back pull it up pull it back like this so yeah I can definitely wear this hair in a ponytail I could wear it in a high ponytail the only thing for me is that because my real hair is long and I have more and more real hair that I'm trying to fit up under my wigs I try to make it lay as flat as possible on the top but there is still a little bit of bulk in the back of my head from where my braids are so it's harder for me to pull the hair all the way up without having any type of lump back here just because you know I have a lot of hair under there so I usually don't really try to wear my wigs all the way up unless it's just for like a picture or a video where you're only going to see the front it looks really good from the top it doesn't look as good from the back but if you have shorter hair or if you have your hair cornrowed really flat and you can get it really flat in the back you could definitely pull this wig all the way up and wear it in a ponytail it has that little comb in the back holding it down so you shouldn't have any problem okay guys so i'm back with my makeup on and i just wanted to show you guys kind of what the finished product of the wig looks like with the natural texture of the wig again this is no product this is just freshly washed and conditioned and air dried hair and this is what it looks like i really like the little natural beach wave moment that it gives you really pretty okay so now i'm actually gonna go flat iron the hair just so you guys can see the straight version since that is how it comes out of the box i want you guys to kind of see the finished final look and all i'm gonna do is use some heat protectant spray this is the beyond the zone turn up the heat Heat protecting spray i'm going to spray some of this on the hair and i'm just going to use my flat iron i'm going to straighten through it really quick it's literally nothing to it because you know this is obviously a really loose wave so it's really easy to straighten and then i'm going to come back and show you guys 
the finished look. Okay, so here is what the wig looks like straightened, which I guess you guys already saw that in the intro of the video, but just to show you again, this is what it looks like after I have flat ironed it. Again, it will actually come straightened like this when you order it fresh out of the box, and then you can wet it or wash it if you wanna wear it wavy. But yeah, this is the wig. I'm super happy with it. I think it looks good if i do say so myself i'm like feeling myself like i look good i look cute so if you guys are interested in it once again the link will be down below you guys can check it out thank you so much to my first wig for working with me again on my collection give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys in my next one bye